That'll bring in Austin Barnes. He comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far after reaching on an error his first time up. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. He wasn't fooling anybody with that fastball. He barreled it up nice right there. He's just got to find a way to keep it fair. And he popped him up. Boyd trying to get there. But he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Jock Peterson. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Fouled off. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. So a runner on first with one out now. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitter Max Muncie. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a three-one count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around them? The Two lead. on here with one man Justin. out. And that'll bring up the third baseman, Justin Turner. Count is one and two now. The one two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. That was a nasty pitcher's pitch right there. Most guys strike out on that one. He was able to scramble out a little bit and give him another chance. And hopefully, this pitcher misses over the heart of the plate. Fouled away. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin to win if he starts looking for it in there. And another foul ball. Another 2-2 offering. Another one sent foul. Here now the 2-2. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. Goes to third with it. He's in time as he gets the tag down, and he's out trying to take third. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Lined to the right side, and that'll get down out there. He's in at second safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Ready for another chance? Cody Bellinger, runner in scoring position with Sugar. So it's first and second with two men gone. And that brings in the former World Series hero, David Freed. Freed behind a ball and two strikes. And yet another strikeout. At the plate, Gary Sanchez, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Even count, two balls and two strikes. The 2-2. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Can't imagine he comes back with a third breaking ball. That hitter looked like he timed that one up pretty well and just missed it, fouling it away. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. Now back, the designated hitter. The one-two. Edward. Edward. Back up the middle. Hernandez up the middle. On to first, will take care of second out. Coming to the plate now. Big boy. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. No runs, three hits, and one error on the Yankee line score so far. And it's fouled away. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of anytime you can. A swing and a miss. That. Tommy Canely takes over to start the now sixth inning on the mound. 
into the box now. Chris Taylor will start things out for the Dodgers in their half of inning number six. Two and one the count. The two one home. A bouncer up the middle. Scooped up on the backhand. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now that's riding in once again. Kike Hernandez. It was a walk in his last trip. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. Now Got him swinging on the fastball there. Kike Hernandez sent packing for out number two in the sixth. And he'll get there in. Digging in to try it again. Torres. He set to start it out for the Yanks here in the sixth. The one two. Into center field line drive base head. With that the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. One for one after a single this first time up. Hit sharply on the ground. And a sliding try there at third but it skips by him a base hit. So it's first now and second now. The Nobody second out. And that'll bring DJ. in DJ LeMayhew. Skied into straightaway right. Bellinger's under it. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And the throw from right will not be in time as he takes third on the flyout. Now Ready now, John Carlos Stanton. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. And this one gets away. So the lead runner holds on, but the trailer will take second. This one is launched. Look at this. Gone. And that one had some extra distance. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Aaron Hicks. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Here comes the one two to Hicks. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. And he will strike him out. Ten. Ready for another shot now. Austin Barnes, a hit in two tries so far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Here's Hicks to put it away, and that's out number one. Now to the plate, John Peterson. His prior history versus this arm, not a big sample size, 0 for 1. One ball and two strikes to count. The 1 2. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. And that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncy. Comes into this at bat, 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Two and two now with two away, and the base is empty. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Next for New York, Gary Sanchez. He went down on strikes last time up. The 1-1. One, one. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Here's the one and two delivery. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The next one two pitch. And he popped him up. 
And there's a base hit, so a chance for some insurance here to start out the home half of the seventh. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that will bring up the power bat of Edwin Encarnacion. And he fouls this one off. The 2-2 two -two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Ready once again, Luke Voigt. He was set packing on strikes in his last trip. One and two now as that one's fouled off. The one-two is swung on and missed. He got him. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Torres, two base hits, both singles to this point. Ready to deal. Here's the one-one. Hot shot to third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And a good effort as he's able to stick with it. So digging in now, Justin Turner. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. Now, so he certainly capitalized on it last time. So he chased out of the strike zone on that one. Justin Turner goes quietly to lead off the eight. So he got him swinging. Cody Bellinger takes the hat trick with his third strikeout of the night. One and two now. One and two, here it comes. And he got another one here. He strikes out. Digging in and looking for more, Gio Urshela. He reached on a single last time. And Ladies and gentlemen, Dylan Floro is on the please. pitch here in the eighth with now nobody out. For the Dodgers. Didy Gregorius is going to grab a bat here as he looks to try to set the table in the bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance. Hot shot on the ground is short. Glove by Taylor. Throw, and he's called out on a close play at first. Here's the second baseman, second D.J. Baseman. LeMayhew. No DJ. hits in three tries so far. He struck out Thank once. You. Hard hit ball to second. Hernandez is up with it. Pro gets him. Two down. Now Jim Carl back. Stanton Let's now. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. The one-two. Swung on and missed. He got him on. Now batting, Chris Taylor. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. And this is going to find the wall out near the Yankee bullpen. And he'll get in at second base as the tying runs aboard with a leadoff double. Up next to the doctor. Striding in, Kike Hernandez. Kike. They'll go to work on getting that Hernandez. tying run home from second. Adam Adovino, the 6'5 right-hander, takes over on the mound. Number zero. Spin and a throw back to second, and they'll get back in standing. Now playing third base, number 18, Didi Gregorio. Swing and a miss, two and two now. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strike out here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Three and two now. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make them swing the bat on this next pitch. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Now the one and one pitch. And that one got a piece of him. At the plate, Austin Barnes, as yeah, he'll look to bring home that McKenzie. tying run from second Austin. with a base hit into the outfield. Hey. Now the slider gets the call in the bottom part of the zone. Pickoff move to second, and he's back in standing. A run, 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 run. Two strikes, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three, the throw, and they'll put the tag on him as he is out at third to end the ball game, and what a dumb way to end this one.